Hello my scrappy friends, I'm back again with another process video. This one is using um, the cut files from February from um, Paper Issues. They are the free cut files and I um, don't have a cutting machine. So I try to come up with different ways that I could use these cut files. So this time what I did is I traced them onto some tracing paper and then I used them to create um, like the love words that I was showing and <clears throat> I traced them onto this white background and stitched around all of the hearts. Now I'm gonna tell you that took quite some time um, but with my back injury that I've been dealing with, I actually had a lot of time and this is something I was able to do um, without sitting or standing, so it worked out great. Um, so I also had put in the background some gold um, Heidi Swap Color Shine Mist and um, some, can't think of what it's called, but it's, um, Glimmer Mist by Tattered Angels. I can't think of the, the name of the color. Um, but then the floss I used, I used some white embroidery floss and some gold, um, just regular thread that I used three strands of. So I used three strands of the embroidery floss um, for all of the white hearts and then three strands of just regular thread for the gold hearts. And the picture I'm using is one of me and my husband. I had um, taken him for his birthday, I believe it's for his birthday, um, to see a baseball game. And afterwards we had gone out for dinner and we met a lot of nice people and had a blast. So I kind of drew my color inspiration from the picture because the background wall is like this really really nice green actually and it matches that mist color really well um, and I, I really like that color so it's kind of where I drew my inspiration from. Here I'm just trimming off a quarter inch off of each side because I'm going to put <clears throat> excuse me a background paper and here I pulled out that green paper um, but that's just too green so then I found this kind of ombre effect one and it's really soft and gorgeous and that's from We Are Memory Keepers, um, the Wildflower Collection. And even though the top is white, um, I still love the effect of it and I think it works really well. So I'm just gutting out the center. I was thinking I was going to use that to back my photo on, um, but I choose not to just because I didn't want to add too much to this layout because I didn't want to take away from those hearts that I spent so much time sewing. So this is just one of the ways um, I've used cut files in the past um, to create different things and this is just one way I know of doing it is to use the tracing paper and cut them out that way. Um, I've also printed them on like pattern paper and cut them out of the pattern paper. Um, what else have I done? I've used them in a few different ways and I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, so these are from these little, well this, this card that I cut in half um, has like a fringe on it and it's from the Maggie Holmes Bloom collection, the, like one of the cut apart sheets from this collection. And so what I'm doing is I'm using my X-Acto knife and I'm just um, cutting the fringe basically into the paper. I'm following what's already printed there and I'm cutting them all separately because um, I love fringe so even though I, I just felt like it's too flat and I needed some some kind of embellishment to kind of pop up off the page a little bit so I thought this was perfect so I'm going to do this with both of the little pieces of that card. So yeah, this takes a little bit of time and for the second one I do speed up the video so it doesn't take that long. Um, but I really like the effect that it has. And I'm able to glue it down nicely so that it kind of sits like a card behind those layers. Now that love, love, love is another part of 
the cut apart sheet and I figured I would just use that as my title. Again, I don't didn't want to add too much to this layout um, because I really wanted it to be about the background. So I'm just very gonna very minimally embellish it. And I absolutely love those little fringe or that fringe card. I love how it turned out. I think it gives it just enough interest. So I'm gonna put some of this fun foam behind the photo and this is from Walmart. And so now I'm gonna mess around, um, and I forgot about this part. I'm gonna mess around with these cards a little bit, trying to figure out, I kinda want them tilted a little bit, not completely straight on, and but I want them to look kind of level with each other. And um, I had purposely, oh, here I'm struggling my Scotch Quick Dry had um, got like a big clot of glue in it and yeah, it would not come out. So the hearts on the background aren't completely um, like straightly lined up because I wanted them to be a little, since I wasn't using like a whole sheet of them, I wanted them to be a little um, like, I can't think of the word I'm trying to say but a little, just a little offset from each other. So it was a little difficult to line them up the way I wanted to. I could have pulled out my ruler, but I was feeling really lazy, so I didn't bother with that. And then the glue wouldn't hold because of the stitching, so I had to keep kind of gluing them down. And again, I'm dealing with the glue little chunk that's stuck in the tip there. Now, anybody who's watching, um, so I bought got this this bottle of Scotch Quick Dry quite some time ago, and it's actually almost empty. And I don't know if I want to buy any more. I know that they changed their name now to like I don't know what is it, Scotch like tacky glue or Scotch craft glue or something. Um, but I'm just wondering, is it worth it to buy more or I really like to use the Tombow Mono Multi. Is that pretty much the same or does anybody have any recommendations for another like quick drying wet glue? Um, if you do, please, I would love to hear um, in the comments below what you think is the best one to use. So while I was talking about that, I added this little bow and this is from a paper from a Recollections collection and I cannot remember the name of the collection but um, it's all like gold foil papers and I actually cut this out and made this bow out of actually another cut file. Um, so this is another way that I use them is I you know kind of create my own thing. I just cut them out by hand instead of using a machine. So I'm using some more of the gold thread that I use to stitch the hearts in the background and just adding it in a couple two spots. I have this little flag that says you and me and that's from an October afternoon sticker sheet. Um, I think it's supposed to be used for like flags or banners or something but it just matched my color scheme so that's what I'm going to go with. And I'm adding a couple of these gold um, recollections enamel dots and just gluing everything down and trying to make sure that my thread stays glued. And then that's pretty much it. I don't even add um, any journaling or anything. I did forget to put the date on, so I probably will go back and add that. But thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you again soon. Um, oh, and if you have any questions or anything, you can check out my blog. I will have a post about what I used. So thank you. Bye.